Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today it is Cal and my two and a half year anniversary. If you've been watching since the beginning days of Cal, that means that you and I have been friends for over two years, which is crazy. Besties alert. I'm in a weird mood today. So I woke up and I just got a massage. This sweet lady Nara came to my house, gave me a massage. I'm feeling rejuvenated and amazing. I know I'm gonna feel like shit tomorrow because your body just feels so sore after. But I've started working out regularly again, so my body's already been sore. So I'm so excited for everything and yes, I just finished the massage and now I was craving some young fire noodles or what actually no They're not fire noodles. They're called oh I totally lied. They're the Samyang Bulldog Carbonara Noodles. I just love the packaging. I think it's so cute and they taste amazing. So I'm gonna make a concoction with things from the fridge. We really need to go grocery shopping. Maybe today, we'll see if we make it. I've been real lazy lately. And I'm just gonna use stuff from the fridge and make a delicious meal. So we've got these packs, one for me, one for Cal. The water is boiling for that. Also over here, I've been really wanting to try these. I got this from the Korean grocery store. It's cheese tteokbokki. So there's cheese inside and I'm, oh, I forgot to put the water in. I was gonna put water in here and you let them just sit for a little bit in water, soften up, and then I'll mix them in with the noodles. We also have two eggs left, just two, so we're gonna use those. I found some cabbage in the fridge. I'm gonna chop it up with some onions, saute it. Update, noodles and thuck are boiling. I think that's almost ready. Over here, I didn't have an onion. I only had a shallot left. So I did one shallot that I thinly sliced, sauteed with some cabbage, and then my mom also made gorigomtang, which is a Korean oxtail soup, and I had one piece left, so I just shredded it up, put it in here. I'm gonna pull the noodles out and then add my eggs in now. All right, noodles are all doctored up. We've got the tteokbokki in there. We've got egg, cabbage, oxtail, shallots, kim, or seaweed on top. It looks bomb. Hello guys, since we last spoke, I took a, how like, hour and a half nap, Yeah, I was knocked out. Got up, I had so much fun getting ready. I took my time getting glam tonight. Here is the fit. Also, Cal's such a cute dog dad. Whenever we leave, he takes them out, puts the blinds down, and puts the uh, lo-fi music on for them. That's so sweet. Okay, here's my outfit. I really like it. I'm wearing my Good American black leather pants, which I highly recommend, especially if you're short like me, because it has this little flare on the side, so Very it's not short. as short. <laughs> my shoes are New Balance 550s, in the color Oreo, so they're black and white. This little undershirt is from Ar thank you, baby. My little undershirt is from Aritzia. I wanted to wear my parallel top, but it was in the wash, so I'm wearing this one instead. It's not as supportive, but it's cute. And then this is a little sweater top that I got from, oh, nope, Tiger Mist. It's got like these cute little clasps on. My nails are from Perla. This ring is from, I forget what it's called, but some Instagram shop. These little earrings are from my mom, and I'm channeling my mom. I feel like this is like, mm, I don't know. No, it's not my mom. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, Alicia Marie let me borrow her purse. I had to call and ask if I could borrow it to be respectful, and also, she'll see it on Instagram. She'll be like, that's my bag, bitch. I'm such <laughs> sisters. Okay, give me an outfit of the night, baby. I've already worn this like a million times. Still. All right, Zara jacket. Yes. Zara shirt. Yes. Joe pants. Joe's, Joe's jeans. Joe Wait, pants. When are you gonna understand it's Joe's Joe. jeans? Pants. Okay, Joe pants. Nike shoes. And where's she from? She's from hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna vlog at our, we're going to dinner at 4.30 because uh, we're grandparents, but also it's because it's the sunset and it's gonna be so pretty. I'll get like maybe a clip there. I'm not gonna bring the camera and I will see you guys eventually. Goodbye. Oh. Isn't it so pretty? It's really cool. Maybe it's just, uh, How pretty is that? Okay, I got a vodka passion fruit, spicy marg. Oh my god. Yeah? That's amazing. That looks so good. That's like my dream crispy rice. That sushi was the best sushi we've ever had in our life. It was amazing. So good. And these so fries. Good. I didn't realize that the burger came with fries. I should have asked. But now we've got <laughs> double the fries. We're home, guys. And we ate dinner at a brisk 4.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we had... It actually was brisk, though. It, it was, was cold. It was, oh, it was brisk and it was early. We had dinner. The server was so, so sweet. And we finished our drinks and dinner by, like, what, like 6, 6.30 at the earliest. Mm -hmm. And she was like, are you guys going to keep going now? And we're like... No, we're going home. She was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but we're home. Cal and I filmed a couple TikToks. Let me show you my personal fave, the one that Cal what participated in. I captioned this, when Alicia hates a guy and hashtag Cammy, that's mine and Cal's couple name, comes over for a pep talk. Get over him, girl. He's a jerk. Let's take shots. And I was like, I'm down. 
If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should, but we're home and we're just chilling. We were gonna maybe go out, but we decided to just stay in and we are drinking a beverage. I bought these massive wine glasses from Crate and Barrel. This wine glass was, I think it was like $8 or so, and it is massive. I fit an entire can of seltzer in here. Fruit smash, I think that's what it's called. It's delish. What are you drinking, California? Bud Light Lime. <laughs> so we're gonna play heads up and hang out and just spend the night in. Hi guys, okay, it is the next day. I am out on the town. I'm meeting Ollie at the Melrose Trading Post right now. It is crazy. There's a lot of people. I get nervous when I'm vlogging, but normally parking is so hard to find here and I got a spot right back there. So it's a good day. He's already in there. We're gonna meet him and I feel like I'm gonna find some good stuff today. The this green. just screams, yes. Isn't this so pet muffy? Oh my wait, God, boy, wait, she video. looks so cute. Oh my God, wait, this just screams pet muff this whole place. First stop, food. Ollie's gonna get pasta sisters, which looks bomb. I'm thinking something, I might get this burrito. They have burritos and tacos over there that look really good. All right, we're waiting for our food. We're just shopping around. How pretty is this? I've always wanted the M&M one. You're my m and It's so cute. I actually love the Should colors. Should I try it on? Okay. Yeah. Wait, that's cute. I love the colors on you. I like the rainbow, but with like the neutral. Yeah, it's really flattering, <gasps> actually. All right, thank Yeah. You. Here. This is the exact booth. Oh, thank you so much. Dang. That Erica and, or we got the ones for Erica and for Pet Muff. Oh, I like this one. This one feels not, oh, I love it all. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me apologizing to a hanger. An inanimate object. <laughs> My man's back there has the best jackets. If you come to LA and come to the trading post. Right. I don't know his name, but he's the best. Get a quick clip of him so they can see. Quick pan. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our lunch. I got a shrimp burrito. We got some live music, some pineapple juice. Wow! Yummers. Yummers. It really does look so good. I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm building a cap. I'm salivating. Beautiful. A little napkin, a little lid. I think today is the day that I buy a film camera. I've been really wanting one and I reached out to our photographer friend. My hair looks crazy. I put a hat on. I reached out to our photographer friend and she was like, actually go to the training post. They have really good ones there versus buying them online. So we're I checking it out. This one. This one? I mean, it's beautiful, but I can't carry that around. It's, giving pop it's really cute. It's giving a Fletcher Hollywood fix. My heart is kind of set on this one. I think this one's beautiful and compact. Okay, we went on a little bit of a Miss Remy shopping spree. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Remy shopping spree. We are stopping at Pygmy Hippo. I'm gonna be honest, we were going that way because we were gonna go get some candy. And and then Ollie yelled pygmy hippo and I thought there was actually a pygmy hippo, but <gasps> this is the next best thing. Oh my God, we have to get that for Lauren. Are they open? I think they're open. They're open. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Oh my God, I love a little gift store. <gasps> Wait, for Alicia, a little Aquarius section. Look at this chicky. Dear little Aquarius. That's me. <laughs> Hello, update. We are now going to Soccer Beat, which is a Swedish <laughs> candy store here in LA. This is one of the first places that I came to in LA because my aunt just brought me to run errands and it's this store. So I'm gonna be in her area later tonight. So I asked if she wants me to bring her candy and she said yes. So we're getting her candy. And Ollie's her favorite oh. person, so. Ah! My oh! hair! Ah! <laughs> Let's get some candy. Immediately now. Immediately now. Soccer Beat, sweet and Swedish. I haven't been here in years. Look at it. Oh my, it smells so good. She said white marshmallows. Oh wait, here. Yes. yes. Miss Remy scooping. She scoops her own candy. I will say this is hard because I don't know exactly what she wants. Cola? I don't think they like cola. Maybe they do. Whoa, they said no cola. <laughs> I love how you scoop it. <laughs> Am I doing a bad job? <laughs> Your arm like shakes as you scoop it. <laughs> I glitched. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to get, so I got them everything that I could think of. Now, I mean, they're set for a while now. They don't venture over to the side of town, so they're good for a while. We need princess. to call attention to this again. What'd you say? Miss Remy, prime parking princess. Thank you. Oh, prime parking princess. Okay. We came to the Glossier Alfred. What was that pop point? Up. Well, I was parking the car. The car is aggressive. here. This is the Glossier <laughs> thing. You thing. never get this good of parking in LA. Right. Today is a day. Like, I love coming to West Hollywood on Sundays, but just the parking stresses me out. Do you see this? Look at that. Yes. Look how cute this is. I love it here. Wow. Little stairs. Marble stairs. We got some eyeshadows. Ollie's getting a boy brow. I love the bomb.com. I like the birthday one. And they have a cookie butter now. 
so crazy. So cute. You guys, we met the sweetest subscriber. Her name is Amine, and she worked at Glossy, and she gave me a little bag of something. I don't know what's in here, but she's so cute. And now we're getting coffee at the Alfred right next door. Oh my god, they have boba. I'm absolutely getting a matcha milk here with boba. I'm so excited. All right, we got my matcha. It looks Mr. so matcha. pretty. Miss Ruby Matcha's back. I love it. Also, Ollie's now Miss Ollie Matcha. He said he loves his I matcha. I love it so much. Only Chamberlain Matcha, babe. It's so good. So good. Hello. Okay. That was so much fun. It was so nice seeing Ollie. I just came out to dinner. I'm meeting up with my mom and dad and Cal's meeting us out here too because we're going to an early birthday dinner for me. But the place that we're going to dinner at is really close to a container store and I wanted to grab some stuff to reorganize the fridge. I was going to shop online, but I realized why not look at it in store so I can visually see them a little better. So we're just going to go run in and grab some. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Sweet, sweet container store right next door to Nordstrom Rack. Another one of my absolute faves. Here we go. The home edit stuff. I was looking for like very bins and things like this we got a berry bin all right guys we got the goods oh car is rolling away no one hit a car please thank you my goodness you guys i gotta get out more i've met so many fun subscribers out and about the sweet girl that just checked me out was a subscriber she's so nice glossier store everybody's so kind look at this beautiful sunset behind me are you kidding me and I'm still, oh, almost dripping. I'm still early. I might hop over to that Ulta and just see what's going on in there. Oh, hit myself in the face. I remember there was something that I needed to grab at Ulta. So I think I'm gonna bop in there and see. Okay, cart section was full. So I put it back in the store. Let's stop at Ulta. Do a little look-see live of what's new and then we'll bounce to dinner. This is such a fun day. I'm so happy. Yay! My favorite perfumes. Shut up. Insert name here is in store. That's so exciting. We'd love to see that. Alexis has been using a MAC lip liner on me when she does my makeup and it looks so good so I want to try and find it. I don't know if they have it here though. Wow, they have a lot to choose from though. Okay, here we go. I think it's called, okay, she said strip down was one and I think Cork. I think it's these two. All right, I got three liners. I got cork, spice, and strip down, and then I got this lipstick. That's the top one there that says, thanks, it's MAC. Wait, I'm such a Powerpuff Girls girly, and truly I've been wanting to try their stuff. They have this shave cream with bubbles, and they've got Blossom and Buttercup, and I'm definitely a Bubbles girly. How cool is that? I think this is the cutest collection I've ever seen. It's always sold out. I also am obsessed with Love Wellness. Their stuff is so good. Guys, I just had a show. Look how freaking beautiful this view is. Look at that. That is the ocean in front of us. Oh my goodness. I promise I'm looking at the road and not looking at the camera, but this is insane. Oh my God. So we're in Manhattan Beach. I'm obsessed with this little beach town. Look at the beautiful sunset in the beach. And there's like little ice cream shops and stores. I'm in love. Oh my God. I found a parking spot and I had to parallel park three different tries till I got it. Lightly embarrassing, but that's okay. I'm wearing my new jacket because it's colder than I had anticipated today. And we're by the beach, so it's extra cold. So cute though. I'm so excited. This is like my favorite restaurant in LA. I always look forward to eating here. It's called the Arthur J. Not there being a literal spot right here as soon as I park. I cannot. Everybody say hi. Hello. Hi, happy baby. birthday. Thank you. Hi mom. Hi dad. Happy birthday, Thanks for birthing me guys. So fun. Happy such, a, such a good time. We've got a shrimp cocktail. Giant popover. We're an oyster family. Oh, that's so good. They look so good. Are you happy dad? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I got this steak that's so good. We got broccolini, mac and cheese, cream spinach, and then these are beef fat fries. They're like my favorite fries in the whole world. And they dust them in salt and vinegar. Wow, you guys, look at this sunrise. I'm up at 6.30 a.m. going to the gym, and I am so tired, but how beautiful is that sunrise? Oh my god. Morning workouts, take it out of me. Hello all, had a wonderful workout. I am a sweaty mess, but that was so great. When I got here, I was so tired, but now I'm feeling a little bit more awake. I have a little bit over an hour before I have my physical therapy appointment, so I'm gonna go get some Air One breakfast. Yay, let's go! We're back. I'm totally getting the burrito today. This is seriously the most beautiful grocery store in the world. Got some fruits and some veggies to make a salad later. Getting some sourdough bread. There's so many bread options. Look at all of these. They look so good. Look at the breakfast. I kind of want to get a tartine. Oh, the, the burritos. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm listening to the radio and they're talking about Encanto, which was so good. I did my usual shopping and then pulled over to a parking meter on the street. So let's do a little haul. First up, I got chocolate croissants because Cal called and actually we should call him while I'm uh, filming. It'll be so funny. I called him. I was like, is there anything specifically you want from the grocery store while I'm going? He was like, no, I'm good. And then he called me back and he was like, actually, chocolate croissant, if they have it. All right, he didn't pick up. He'll call back in a couple minutes for breakfast, which 
sandwich. I just need to eat now because I'm so hungry. That workout took it out of me. I got the breakfast burrito. This one is the turkey sausage one, which is Oh my God, my mouth is salivating. It comes with two kinds of salsa. We've got a red salsa and a green salsa. I think I like the green one, but I can't remember. But this burrito is incredible. It's got broccoli in it, which I thought was so interesting for a breakfast burrito, but it works. Let me tell you, there's cheese, broccoli, eggs, turkey bacon. It comes on a spinach tortilla. Big bite. Mmm. Did I call or did I call it? All right. I have news for you. What's the news? I got two chocolate croissants for you. Let's freaking go. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Right, freaking go. All right, I'll ah, see you later. I'm making a mess. Okay, love you, bye. I spilled my salsa on my pants. I will say also their breakfast burritos are very egg forward. So if you don't like eggs, not for you, but we all know I love eggs. Also, I need to take inspiration. When I do my breakfast burritos, I feel like I layer things. And the problem with that is sometimes you get a bite of egg and sometimes you get a bite of avocado, sometimes a bite of bacon, but it's not always mixed together together perfectly. They mix their stuff and then put it inside, which I will take note for next time I make a burrito. All right, I'll finish this when we're done talking. Other things that I picked up at Air One. I got a loaf of sourdough bread to make toast sandwiches, obviously, and I'm gonna keep this in the fridge so it lasts longer. I got some garlic spread because this stuff is always good. I got a single Roma tomato as well as a cucumber for some salad tonight that I wanna make with some leftovers from dinner as well as some romaine lettuce. Ah! Oh my god, this is such a mess. This is such a mess. I'm getting salsa absolutely everywhere in this car. It is on my iPhone cord. I got a new bottle of coconut aminos because I live for coconut aminos on everything. It's so good. <gasps> I was really excited about these. I forgot. I was obsessed with these way back in the day. I forgot they existed. I thought I couldn't even find them in the store and then I went on a hunt and I found them. They're the Air One brand cauliflower little pizza crusts or taco shells. You can use them for whatever. I like to use them in lieu of bread so I use it for like a sandwich or like a toast. I put them in the toaster and they are so, so, so good. I love the cauliflower ones from Trader Joe's as well, but these are significantly better and I love them so much. They get crispy like a cracker, but then like soft on the inside. I love them and I forgot they existed, so I was very excited. Okay, last couple things. I tried these recently when I went and they were so good, so I just got a pack of these. They're the Arancini Brown Rice Balls. Oh, I just realized these are vegan. I don't know if they're all vegan, but they were delicious when I tried them. They're like little crispy rice balls. I got a little pack of kiwi and strawberries because I've been in a kiwi mood lately and I wanted to eat some in the car. Been really craving strawberries as well. Also, since we're about to leave on a trip, I didn't want to buy a ton of stuff. These are just things to hold us over till we leave. I got these last time I came and Cal absolutely loved them, so I got a new bag. These are the Truffle Heirloom Crunchies from Pipcorn. They taste like Cheetos, but healthier Cheetos and they have a truffle flavor, so they're amazing. And then I also wanted to get the little cheddar cheese balls because I love a cheese ball. And last but not least, I picked up my favorite juice from there. This is the Just Green an apple. I love this because it's so easy to get my greens in while also it tasting sweet and delicious with that apple-y flavor. All right, I'm gonna go stop by physical therapy for a really quick appointment and then we're gonna head home. Hi guys, okay, it is later. I came home, I took a shower. I didn't do my hair or wash my hair because Cal and I are taking a Pilates class tonight. So I've just been chilling, watching TikToks and now I'm making some lunch. Let me show you what I'm whipping up. Fun fact about me, I can never finish a steak no matter what size it is. I don't know, I always bring it home. But steak leftovers are the best leftovers. So I had about half my steak left. I just chopped it up and now I'm going to throw it in my pan to reheat. And I figured today I would make steak sandwiches for lunch. We got that bread earlier. We got the lettuce. We got the tomatoes. All right. I toasted the sourdough toast. I split them in halves. As a condiment, we're using Kewpie mayo. I put salt, pepper, avocado, grilled onions. I grilled up some red onion over here in this pan. It got all nice and caramelized. We got the steak, tomatoes, lettuce, Done. Let's see the vlog, Miss Merch. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, made the sandwich. How bomb does this look? I love using leftovers in a fun way. Eh, steak sandwich is not that fun, but <laughs> <laughs> not that innovative, but that it'll be good. Fun. It looks bomb. Hello, vlog. It is much later. I think the last time I talked to them was when I made that sandwich. <laughs> a lot of time has passed. I showered. My hair is almost air dried, so that's when you know it's been a long time. Cal and I are just chilling. We had some dinner. We're hanging out. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, I didn't realize that we leave technically tomorrow night to go on our trip. We're really leaving Wednesday morning, like our flight takes off at 1 a.m., but we have to be at the airport tomorrow night. So I spent the night cleaning and packing and just getting ready for all of that. And a little package came in the mail and I actually bought these for Cal for, <laughs> I like that you're just standing there. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I bought them for Cal for Valentine's Day, but because I'm me, I couldn't wait to give them to mm. him. So please showcase. They're back. Da! If you guys remember, these are from a brand called Beads by Tara, and she is the sweetest ever. She's an amazing small business, and she sent us these, I think it was last Vlogmas, I wanna say, or at some point last oh. year, two years ago rather now, and she sent Cal those bracelets, and he was obsessed with them, and he wore them until they broke. So I got him some new ones for an early Valentine's Day gift, and then she also sent me some stuff too. Everything comes in these really nice pouches, and I will say, I noticed she upgraded. Before they had like a little flap, and now there's a little closure on them, so they're perfect for travel. And I told her too, I'm actually trying to get more into gold jewelry now. So she said, I know, I'm gonna try. She sent me some, oh my God, some really cute pieces. These are some little gold bracelets. Here's a little necklace. Oh my God, it's a necklace with a C on it. In case you guys didn't know, I wear this little C necklace all the time. You know, cause of the Taylor Swift song that goes, I want to wear his initial on a chain around my neck, chain around my neck, not because he owns me. So sweet, so cute. And then on this side, we've got, <gasps> More gold pieces. Oh my god, look at these little like rhinestone ones. How cute are all of these? Okay, I cannot wait to wear more gold. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love how it all fits in these little pouches too. This is awesome. That was a lot of pieces and they all fit perfectly in here. Also, while I was cleaning, I had to open up a bunch of random packages that were by the door. So let me show you the two that really stood out to me because I'm stoked about both. Okay, first up, I got a package from this company called Bang Cookies, which I've never tried or heard of before. And I'm not quite sure how they got my address, but thank you so much because I really wanted a cookie tonight. And these magically showed up at the door. So basically just a bunch of different cookie flavors. And I love, you guys know, a thick hockey puck looking cookie. There's like triple chocolate chunk, there's sea salt chocolate chunk, espresso, oatmeal raisin, there's a s'mores, this one. Oh, it's got graham crackers on top. How good does that look? Came with this little card that says, can't finish them, you can freeze for up to three months, and then if you want to warm it, you can put it in the microwave, which I just did. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, Cal and I are gonna split this one tonight. Mmm, that is a really good cookie. It's not too sweet at all. It's got like a very semi-sweet flavor. That is delicious. I get asked all the time where I get my water bottles and the one that I've been using lately is this one right here, which I just bought a new one because I bring mine everywhere with me, which means I drop it everywhere with me and so the top kind of busted, so it's leaking everywhere now. So I got a brand new one. I got it originally at Target. This is the Elo Hydrate by the Hour. That's not what it's called. I don't know, Ello water bottle, and this is a half gallon bottle. I prefer, you guys know, I always love trying new water bottles because I'm always trying to find ways to get my water in. And I used to have that giant gallon one, which I really did like, but this is a little bit more convenient for when I'm on the go. I like the gallon one when I'm just chilling at home. But this one is amazing, and I will leave a link down below. I found it on Amazon, so that's where I got this one, but you can also get it at Target, and it came in different colors, but I got the blue. Good cookie, right? Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. And then, from Alani New, speaking of water bottles, look what just showed up in the mail today. If you guys don't know, you can use code Remy at checkout. Oh my God, this is so cute. You can use code Remy at checkout at Alani New. It helps me out. Feel free to if you ever make a purchase. <laughs> Cal took his have a cookie. Wait, baby, gotta watch my haul. Okay, first up, these are the cutest colors I've ever seen. I always have such a hard time picking because I don't know what colors to get. This looks to be another half a gallon, which again, I love for on the go. As you can see, they're similar. This one's just like a little bit taller and skinnier, but I will leave them linked down below to these as well. And they've got little motivations on there. They've got a strap. Let Let's check out, oh, we got a straw. You need a straw. It's very helpful to chug your water. I love the loops on these. And then it looks like they also came with straps to put on. It looks like a strap maybe for your water bottle. Oh, oh wait, these are not straps. These are leashes for your dog. <laughs> yep, I think it's a dog it's, leash. This is a dog leash. Well, it could be cute also if you like were oh crossbody and you take your water bottle with you. <laughs> wait, these are so cute. And wait, Kelly, I'm not done yet. We got a hat, which Cal will wear this far more than I do. There you go. And then, why I made Cal stand here for so long. They made <laughs> a Lonnie new energy dog toy. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute! Okay, first up we have, oh my, oh, Daisy. Daisy's ready. She knew. How did she know? How did you know, girl? You're pretty smart. Girl, 
Oh, oh, and then we got the little sister. We got the little sister. There she goes. Okay, okay, Daze, just give me one second. Let me just show them and then I'll throw it. Okay, first up, we've got Mutt Mosa, a play on Mimosa, obviously. Okay, good, easy, go. She's happy. Now we give one to Momo very swiftly. Here we have another one of my favorite flavors, Breezeberry, aka Barkberry. Here, Momo, go. Daisy, let her have it. Daisy, let her have it. Daisy, let her have it. This one is Cherry Slush, aka Cherry Mush? Mush? Mush. Why? Cherry Slush Dog. Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here, Daisy, go. And then last but not least, we have Cosmic Stardust, aka Cosmic Paw Dust. These are the cutest. Here, Mommy. You want this one, Mom? Go. Oh, okay, you didn't fetch it, and Daisy's taking it. All right. On that note, this has been such a fun vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. I'm gonna eat my cookie. Goodbye!